My name is Mick Cutterjar, I'm from North Beach, North Wollongong, and my fighting style is cutter submission fighting, combination judo, jiu-jitsu and freestyle fighting. Uh, my favourite style is everything combined. I don't have a particular style, I go over the flow and whatever they offer I counter. I want it to go long. Yeah, my opponent's pretty good, he comes out firing, so um, i just got to work on the counters because I know what he's like. I've competed you know, in three different arts, um, pancreation, jiu-jitsu, but uh, I haven't stopped since 1977, so it's been pretty good. Fight tonight, well, I feel pretty confident in it. I know he comes out 100 mile an hour, and I know he's a, a aggressive first five, five to six minute fighter, throws everything at you, but um, I'm a counter player, so that'll work in my favour. My name is Matt Forky, one half of the Tiger Twins. Originally from New Zealand, residing on the Gold Coast for eight years now. I train at Five Rings, Five Rings Dojo with Rei Matsumura, and it's freestyle. Whatever works, use it. I think my body shape's suited for ground and pound, but I like standing up as well. I've seen a lot of footage of Mick. Uh, he's like a tank. You know, he always comes forward, big hands, so I predict it's going to be over pretty quickly, either for one of us, that's for sure. Very confident. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, please make welcome Mick Cutterjar. We've got the big boys in here now, Chris. This is what I'd live for. This will be brilliant. Yeah, Mick, Mick is Cutterjar, the... the white hair. Yeah, Tony Benello's in his corner. They're both Maltese by origin. Mick's from uh, from Wollongong trains with Brett Harriet, uh, one of the most experienced fighters in Australia extensive amateur career in pancreation uh he's a member of the maltese judo team olympic level judo player his opponent this exceptionally evening fighting talented out of the fighter. red corner give a big welcome for matt Foki. the fearsome tiger twins are one half of them matt Foki. yeah identical twins um very very formidable fighters Weighing near 110 kilos. Matt fights all over the world. He's a veteran of the Pride Fighting Championship. Uh, his twin brother, Mal, in the ring. Good one's got their shirt off. We can tell them apart now. <laughs> Joining us all the way from Wollongong, New South Wales, this evening, he is the founding member of Cutters Submission Fighting. This fighter is an expert in judo and kickboxing and he boasts a professional record of eight fights with only one loss. Weighing in tonight at a massive 105.7 kilograms, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big XFC welcome to Mick Cutter, Cutterjar! From ringside there, it looked like Mick was ready to have a fight with our, uh, our ring announcer for a tick I, there. I don't know what he said to offend him, but... His opponent standing know, to my left hand the side. The weight thing, I'm not sure. I think it was intended as a compliment. Standing to my left hand side this evening, fighting out of the red corner. He certainly is a big boy. He is the former Full Australian heavyweight of champion and one half of the feared Tiger Twins. Former New Zealand rugby schoolboy, a superb athlete, Matt Foki. He is also a veteran of Japan's Pride Fighting Championships and is ready to go to war tonight for the number one contender's position. Weighing in this evening at 108.55 kilograms, ladies right, and gentlemen, please put your hands together yeah, for the hometown, gold uh, uh, Matt Boki. Yeah, I'm with Boki on this. Uh, hear the noise that he's created in the house. He has Nathan Carnage Corbett in his corner, World Muay Thai champion. There's a lot of pride in that corner. Almost set to go, I guess folks. I'm with Mick number seven is almost underway. Interesting. Yeah, I'm happy with that. No, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'll take Mick for this fight. Absolutely. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very hard. At this weight, whoever gets their stuff off. Break clean, please. You get too close. At this weight, it only is going to take one hit to turn it around. At this weight, at this size, yeah, these are big, folks. big boys. How much stamina can they possibly have? How long can they go pounding away at over 100 kilos? Mick is actually noted as being one of the uh, the fittest athletes within the sport. He's in his uh, mid-30s now, been competing since he was a, a, a little child. He hits hard, but look for him. As he said, he wants to take this one long. 
There's a lot of faith in his uh, in his gas, so to speak. He's sticking his head out. He's looking. He's loading up that rear leg here, Mick. Yeah. Very tentative, trying to fill each other out. No one's willing to make a move first. Yeah, make no mistakes. If Mick hits you, you're going to stay here. He hesitated a little bit there. Nice judo. Straight into mount. Over 200 kilos hitting the deck. A combined weight of these two boys. And Mick going to town straight away. Yeah. Pounding the shoulders. Mick's looking for an armbar. Not on the Gold Coast, Mick Katajar. Very Look, wild fighter. The speed of these guys over 100 kilos, this is just insane. They move so quickly. Yeah, he's out of the, he's out of the ring. Look at Mick controlled there, looking for arm. Watch the judo player always look to double up on an arm here. Looking for submissions, throws. Not mm. concerned about the knees. Nice takedown. Big Matty's making him pay here. He had the back straight away. Mick's rolled in. Preventing that choke that was looking there. Locking up the leg. Yeah, Mick's put in the half guard position. He's trying to keep him between that one leg to prevent him getting out and around. You see him utilising the arm to push him back a little there. Matt putting a lot of weight on that left elbow. Yeah, he's putting a lot of pressure across the throat. It won't finish Mick. However, it It'll makes his breathing harder. It will wear him down. And this is where the stamina is going to disappear quickly when you've got a big heavy elbow across your throat. These folkies at 110 kilos, I, I, I'm a big guy, um, I'm tall, but th these fellas are like, uh, I swear though, they're, they're only about five foot seven tall, they are monstrous men. Arms like tree trunks. Yeah, he's making Mick Again, feel a lot of weight. Left elbow across the throat. Happy to stay in that position for now. Yeah, Mick's... Working away at the ribs. Yeah, the ribs aren't, won't be that effective. Uh, look for him to do that to body head. Those combinations will open it up. And I think Mick's preserving a lot of energy here. Um, now, although Mick is on the bottom, I don't think he's in too precarious a situation. He seems very much in control. And yeah, he's feeling a bit of weight. See, all the time Matt's looking to put the pressure on him. Yeah, he needs to leverage off that shoulder. Trying to keep his chin down. Yeah, I mean, you'll see Matt is reaching under the shoulder and leveraging his forearm to form a choke. Receiving instructions from the corner. Yeah, his twin brother, Mal. Mal's the big brother. And that's round one. Yeah, that was a good round. Very, very, very good round. Look, I guess I'm going to have to give it to your boy now round number one, although I'm not too noise. concerned. I think it'll change a bit in round number it. two. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's a point racked up on the cards and um, definite 10-9 round there to the uh, Queenslander. Our lovely Hotel. ring card girls here, Chris. She just gave me a look. She gave you the Did look? Did you see what that? Time? What type of look? You know, that look, that suggestive look. The dreaded Dutch that, wink. That hey there big boy look. Hey there big boy. Well, my lovely wife, uh, Kirsty, is cool, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> she said, if ever I get the chance. Seconds down. She doesn't Here think you get many chances, or? No, she's pretty confident. <laughs> she, she knows how ugly I am. Oh, dear. All right, let's see what happens in round number two. You certainly got a uh, face made for ringside commentary. Yes. Uh, <laughs> people often say I've got a head like a smashed crab. A smashed crab. Here we go, round two. Cameron Quinn calling them back in. Let's see if Mick can keep it up on two feet for a bit. No. No, he's... Mick's looking for guillotine choke. The same hold that Cade finished with. Yeah, Matt's, Matt's uh, a bit wise and Matt slipped straight However, out. That didn't really work for him and he's in the same predicament again. Yeah, Mick's got him in, inside his uh, guard. Mick likes to punch though, don't look for a submission. Mick likes to sweep, he's looking to improve his own position. So Arm just leave it to the judo, corners to help him, folks. You can help him too. Look at the thighs on Matt when he stands Make some noise, up get behind the fighters. The Mick's a big boy. Next to... Um, Matt, he's, uh, you know, he's... Oh, he's, he's well, they're well and truly evenly matched. They certainly are. There's a lot of muscle in, in this ring. A lot of muscle. 
Matt uh, Folk, he's sporting his uh, sponsor's attire, Vast TV. Check that out, guys, www.vast.tv. Look at Cutterjar here. How poised is he? Looks to the corner. He's looking for a leg here. Watch Mick Cutterjar. Absolutely cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Mick's seen it Lucky to get away with that and not getting hit with the knee. Yeah, Mick's protecting his head. He has it central. This is the state of origin, folks. Queensland versus New South Wales. Cameron, which side of the fence do you sit on? Just grabbing the clothes, I think, of those beautiful Vast.TV shorts. Knows how important the sponsors are. Doesn't want the shorts messed up. Oh, exactly. Vast. Oh! Yeah, nice leg trip. Mick's judo is at the finest level. This is where Mick will come into his own here. Look for Mick to pass. Yeah, Matt's trying to force on a guillotine choke. Look at Mick has rotated his head. He's protected his windpipe by rotating his uh, head in, his chin into the rib area. He's safe. Uh, Matt, I'm not sure if he's uh, utilising a bit of energy here trying to force this choke on. But uh, he's not going to get it where Mick is there. Overextending his left arm. Yeah, man, mix, mix very, very seasoned to submission. But these guys are so strong, they could literally pop your head like a pimple. I don't think you could do it to Mick right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. No, no, better Mick than me, though, is all I can say. Look for Mick to pass out here. He should be looking to pass the guard here. He's looking to split that leg and come out. And this is where you've got to be a patient fighter. Yeah, Mick. Taking his time, not going to make a move if it's going to expend too much of his valuable energy. Can they go the distance, mm. folks? Five, it's putting three a lot of rounds. weight on the sternum and diaphragm They've got to be getting of, tired by now. Matty. This is really taking the wind out of Matt. Re-energise your fighters, like make some noise, show your support. Him up, making it hard for him to breathe. It's funny though, like Matt probably isn't, feels he's got that choke close, but Mick is really... Have a look at them getting up here, we'll show you how Matt's feeling. And that is the end of round Slow number down, two. Slow down, don't make an idiot of me. <laughs> he seems okay. He seems okay to me. Uh, he's straight back to the corner. Big brother David Fokey in the ring. Ex-Thai boxer from New Zealand. Uh, one of the biggest supporters of the XFC and uh, Bass TV. Nathan now, Corbett's there. Have a look for this when she walks past me. Oh, I don't know what we're having a look Once for. Once again, a big thank you. Well, she didn't do it that time, but to the good she did it before, I'm telling you. Cruise. Well, supplying our lovely card girls this Was evening. It? What a wonderful job oh, they're doing. Sure. <laughs> when, and for all the your girls party needs, don't stay at home in the, the same backyard. Same have what a barbecue. Did she have? Jump on yeah, the boot cruise. Did she have a head? <laughs> I didn't even look there. Ah. Seconds down. Was a female. I'm pretty sure it was a female. Yeah, well, well, the boot cruise girls are all uh, beautiful looking women. Uh, we shouldn't Seconds make jokes down. about uh, that kind of thing. No, but, I did uh, notice she had a big tattoo around her thigh. Or was that Mick? It was one or the other. Good legs though, big legs. Here we go, round three. It was Mick. Let's see how they're feeling here now. Again, a slow start, like the start of the fight, round one. A lot of sweat coming off the boys. Mick has nice leg trips. Oh, Notice now they're a bit slippery. Yes. These techniques yep. work well in a gi. Look at don't Matt's work so well when the boys are slippery. Yeah, no, exactly. It's very, very hard. Look at these boys are dripping sweat. And the strength is starting to fade. Not so easy to get a good grip. Where's the yeah, support, I think they might have come down two weight divisions lock. in sweat. Look at Mick looking Let's to double up fighting. on his arm. Yep. Let's just see how he goes. This will be interesting. Yeah. Matt just trying to make up his mind here which way he wants to go. Yeah, Matt knows what Mick's looking at. He also knows Matt's so strong that... Uh, you can, oh, nice knee. Heavy, heavy knee. I think Mick took that on the arm, though, so he's still protecting himself well. Yeah, Mick Katajara is as cut as no, is as sorry as hard as nails. Now look at this. Let's see how this cutter submission holding goes for Mick once they hit the deck. Yeah. Mick knows in this position the rules don't allow Matt to knee him to the head. Have a look how poised Mick is. Ringside here, I can almost hear him talking to his corner. Go watch his leg here. Watch his leg. He's going for a knee bar. That's the end of that. Mick Katajar takes him out. Yeah, that was a knee bar, uh, Mick Katajar. Matt just stuck it there for a little too long. When you're a third-down black belt in judo, uh, that's your bread and butter. 
submission holds like that. Uh, very impressive win for Mick Cutterjar, earning number one contendership for the heavyweight title. Some more respect going to Cutter's submission holding. Yeah, we've got all the boys from Jimmy Cass's Valhalla Muay Thai stables in Brisbane. The boys post fight. No animosity whatsoever. Nope. Professional athletes, and you win some, you lose it. some, of course. What a great athlete. Yeah, Matt look Fokey. at that. Look at him go. Yeah, Matt's a credit to the sport, as is his brother Mal. Nathan Corbett in the ring. Must stand a foot taller than him. Ian Jacobs in Mick Cutterjar's corner now. So who's who are fighting at the XFC? Roland Mahoney, uh, another veteran of Japan. Can we please get the fighters to the Star centre of the ring up. for the Tony final announcement? Tony Gunvanello, world middleweight champion with King of the Cage. The winner and new number one contender fighting out of the blue corner, Mick Cutterjar. He's won the Queensland fans over. Good on him.